going on guys? Chris Barner here, Overtime Athletes. Um, I had a whiteboard video I wanted to discuss with you guys today. I found it kind of interesting. It's kind of gone, you know, I've gone from explosiveness, I've gone into speed, I'll dabble in strength a little bit um, because I believe that strength is the component that's going to obviously transfer over to your explosiveness, your speed, but also your durability, your, your ability to not be injury prone. Um, your ability to to stay strong and to keep your joints stable throughout the you know throughout the season or your competitive uh, whatever kind of competition you're in. So a question I recently got and I, it, it spurred off this to make this video was how do I overcome a strength plateau? So what I wanted to do was share with you basically what I particularly do. Um, I work with a lot of athletes in the in season, or I mean the off season, I'm sorry. So I never really get the opportunity to work with athletes over a greater period of time. You know, when they come in, even when they come in throughout the in season, they're usually, uh, you know, they're coming back and forth. And, but it, when I do get the ability and I see an athlete who needs strength, who overcomes or who, who hits a plateau, or I in myself in my own training hit a plateau, here's what I typically do. So. The first thing that I go to, and the first parameter that you could try out, will be percentages. And when I mean percentages, I mean there's a reason why people follow a progression, a set progression based off your one rep max. So let's say you're, you're whatever it is that you're climbing up, going back to percentages. If you're familiar with me, you know that I'm very intuitive with my strength. And what I mean by that is this. When I have an athlete come in and we do, you know, we increase the intensity, we usually increase it by lowering the repetitions. I never really tell an athlete to, uh, you know, hit that day 90% of their uh, one rep max for this X amount of reps. Really what I'm saying is, hey, let's hit five sets of two, five sets of three, and I want you to go and feel out your body and see how strong you are that day. Because usually what I'll see in these athletes, is, especially as I, like I said, I only get them first, the small off season, is you'll see those numbers increase where now they're hitting their one rep max at the end of the cycle for three or four repetitions. So that's why I really make them intuitive. However, if I experience myself or an athlete who's really hitting a plateau and we just can't seem to overcome, I'll go back to percentages, right? So I'll take their one rep max, I'll determine a certain percentage and we'll build off that into a certain building blocks. Usually what I do is I start them off at anywhere from 70 to 80 and then increase the intensity from there and then build upon that. Okay, and when we actually structure it that way, I can tend to see us overcoming plateaus in a smaller manner. It may be five to 10 pounds in a matter of one block, but we're still overcoming plateaus that allows them to go to and move on. And another important note for that uh, that I don't have on here is, is training supplemental lifts. I'll train percentages on supplemental lifts as well. So if they're doing like say a squat, um, I might do some kind of unilateral movement or some kind of uh, step ups where I try to run a basic percentage off those as well. The next one I have is triphasic. You guys are very familiar, I've made a lot of videos. I based all my strength programs up to this date, especially with flight system and ESA off triphasic. And that's breaking down each phase into eccentric, isometric and concentric and I've made in other videos the importance of triphasic so I really think that if you're hitting a strength plateau focus after your strength reps on doing some form of triphasic training where you're breaking down uh, you know you're focusing on tempo as opposed to just going through the motion um, and in your first block you would do an eccentric in your next block you would do an isometric basically some form of a pause and then finishing with a concentric doing it for speed and then my last one is just, I have ROM here, that just stands for range of motion. The last and third component that you can do to overcome, or tip that you could do to overcome a strength plateau, is work a limited range of motion. So each movement has, depending on your body, you have a series of levers through each movement, and it's, it's very angular. And essentially through that movement, or through that range of motion, there's going to be sticking points for you as a particular athlete. Now for most athletes, certain movements you'll see they, you'll, you'll experience common sticking points. For instance, if I'm doing a bench press, 
usually, typically, with a lot of my athletes, the lockout is the one thing that's going to prevent them from performing the bench press or completing that repetition. So what I would do is break down that range of motion and perform something like a board press or something like pins or benching off pins from a static position and just locking out. And it's really focusing on that particular area of the movement. If it's deadlift, you know, a lot of guys at the very top of it, I'll do some kind of block deads where basically they're training that range of motion. And then that allows them when they go back to the full range of motion to feel stronger in that area of the particular, or that particular area of the lift. So there you have it. There's three things, like I said, I'll add the fourth one in and that's really basically the supplemental lifts, but that's something you already know. Three things that you can focus on. You guys can either focus on them individually or you can focus on all three of them. I like to attack it with all three of them, but make sure that you're trying these out if you're hitting a strength plateau. That's all I got for you today. I'll holler at you next time. Yo, what's going on guys? Thanks so much for watching the video. If you're interested in developing brute strength or overcoming a strength plateau, I got a series of free lessons for you to sign up for pertaining strictly to strength for athletes. So go ahead and click there, sign up below, and I'll get you started today.